Hello and welcome to Mantis Hub. Today we're going to be talking filters. Uh, if you ever need to find a specific issue within your Mantis Hub or a subset of issues, uh, then that's when your filters will come into play. You'll find your filters in the View Issues page over here um, in the menu that's on the left of your screen. Uh, once you're in there, you'll see that there's a box here that shows the filters and all the various fields on which you can filter. And then there's another box called Viewing Issues, which lists out the issues according to the filters. You'll see there's a number of columns here uh, showing the issue information that is customizable. If you head over to our knowledge base, you can just click on that question mark button. It'll take you straight there. You can search on managing columns and that will show you how to do that. So we have a look at the filters here. You can see that there's uh, the first few lines are the generic uh, issue fields within Mantis Hub and you can go in and, and set those to the value that you're looking for. You can also see here that there are some probably unfamiliar to you fields there. Those are custom fields. So as you create custom fields, you can configure them to be, to appear in the filters box. Uh, again, if you head to the KB uh, and you can search on the article on creating custom fields and it's just a tick box and you'll be able to have that custom field appear on your filter there. There are a few other fields here. You can see the show button that uh, affects how many issues are listed in this viewing issue box down below. There's a sort by field here that you can see and that will uh, dictate in what order these issues are listed. Uh, you can also affect that order by simply clicking on the field title uh, and then you can see that that's actually changed the sort by value uh, according to how it's ordered down there. Match type is another uh, field that we need to take note of. You can either match on all conditions, so all the value, all the settings that you've set here in the filter box, or you can match any, which means any, if even one of those uh, fields match, then it will be shown in the view issues box below. There are a couple of search options uh, in your filters box here. The first one is at the top here, that's an issue ID search. So if you just plug in the issue that you're interested in, if you know this specific ID, you can enter that in and it will take you straight into that issue. The second search is a keyword search. So just free text you could enter in there and uh, just enter in whatever words you like. And it will bring up any issues with the occurrence of those words. Uh, if you want a specific phrase, then you will need to surround that with quotation marks. Your filter can be reset to default values at any time. If you head over to the bottom uh, corner of your filters box, you can see there's a reset filter button. If you click on that, it will reset to all the default values in your filter. Uh, that button will change if you do have a list of saved filters, um, and we'll go into that a little bit later when we talk about saving filters. By default, the values set to all these fields are any, which means we're accepting any value uh, in that field. There is one exception, however, and that's the hide status here. By default, we do hide any closed issues uh, within your Mantis Hub. Uh, if you do feel that you need to search those issues, you just simply go in and set that to none. So there are a few semantic values that you can set in your fields. Uh, for example, the reporter field will show you every user that uh, is able to report issues. Similarly, assigned to will drop down and show you any users that are allowed to be assigned issues. But there are also a number of semantic fields you can see here. So any we talked about, that means we're not, we're not filtering on this field. None means we're filtering on issues where that field is not set. And the myself semantic value is whoever, whatever user is logged in. So if I do set assign to myself and apply that filter, then it will select all the issues that are assigned to the user that's logged in and that's administrator. One thing to note here when you do apply a filter is you must take note of the project selector at the top here. That is going to decide across what projects you do apply this filter. If you have it set to all projects, it will search all projects in your system or you can go in and select a specific project. 
If you do need to search on a subset of projects, then that's when you would use advanced filters. Again, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, the other thing to note about switching between projects using your project selector is that your filter settings will be remembered. So say I hop into a specific pro project here in the project selector and I want to perform a different uh, search, say on anything in the design category and I apply that filter. That is going to show me anything in the design category only within the specific hoverboard project. And if I do switch between those projects, if I go back to all projects, you'll see that the previously uh, applied filter is still remembered. By default, the filter shown on the view issues page is the simple filter. And in the simple filter, you can only select one value uh, in each field. If you do, however, want to select more than one value, then you would need to switch over to your advanced filter. To do that, you would just head over to this menu uh, option over here on the right, top right, and select advanced filters. And you can see now I can go in and I can select uh, more than one at a time. I can use the shift key to select more than one value that are contiguous, or I can use the control or command key, depending on if you're a, on a Mac or PC, to uh, select values that are non-contiguous. Also specific to the advanced filters is the project field you'll see over here. And this is where if you want to apply a filter across multiple uh, projects, but not necessarily all projects, you would go in and select the subset of, of uh, projects that you want to apply these filters across. Uh, there's another semantic value here that you'll note and that's current and that will relate to whatever you have set in the project filter.